Hi everyone, bienvenidos. Welcome to our city. I'm the mayor and my job is to lead our city and help all the citizens who live here. I can't wait to show you around and introduce you to some of the everyday heroes who make this city amazing. But first, would you like to see some of my favorite places? Yes. Great! The map will help us to see all the amazing places around our city. Let's take a look now. Okay, do you see the star on the map? Yes! The star on the map always tells us where we are. And right now, we're in the park. In our city, we also have a school and a hospital. Oh, and of course, my favorite donut shop. There are so many exciting things to see and do around our city, but the best part is the people you will meet. Hey, would you like to explore the city with me and meet some of the people who live and work here? Yes! Well, great! Before we hop on the bus and go exploring, you need to know our two city rules. Rule number uno is to be kind. Let me see all of you hold up one finger and say, be kind. Be kind. That's it. You can be kind by staying quiet and listening while others are talking. If you can be kind by listening and staying quiet, let me hear you say, shh. Shh. Good job. Now, rule numero dos is to be safe. Let me see all of you hold up two fingers and say, be safe. Be safe. You got it. You can be safe by keeping your hands to yourself as we explore the city. Let's all clap, 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 put your hands in your lap. Ready? Clap, 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 clap. Put, put your, your hands, hands in, in your lap. lap. Perfecto! Now we're ready to explore the city. Today, we are going to visit our city's fire station. Let's see if you can figure out which one of these everyday heroes we will meet there. Our first hero is a firefighter who helps to put out any fires in our city. Our second hero is a construction worker who helps build lots of buildings around our city. And our third hero is a police officer who works hard to keep all the citizens in our city safe. Which one of these heroes do you think we will see at the fire station? A firefighter. That's right. At the fire station, the firefighters wait for a call letting them know there's an emergency. The city bus is here. Let's hop on and go meet one of the firefighters. Everyone, roll your arms around like the wheels on the bus and sing with me. The wheels on the bus go everyone, my name is Felicia and I'm a firefighter here in our city. My job is to help put out fires and help with any emergency our citizens may have. Fighting fires can be very dangerous if I'm not wearing my special armor that helps keep me safe while I do my job. Like my helmet that protects my head and helps me breathe clean air when there's a lot of smoke. I also wear a big jacket to protect me from the flames. But there's an invisible armor that I wear every day, and it's more powerful than anything in my firefighter's gear. It's called the Armor of God. I can't do anything well without the shield of faith from God's armor. It helps me remember that God promises to be with me and take care of me. There's a verse from the Bible that helps me remember to hold up the shield of faith and put on all of God's armor every day. Let me hear you say it after me. Put on all, put on all, of God's, of God's, armor, armor. Ephesians 6, 11. Ephesians 6, 11. That's it. Here in the city, we sing a song to help us remember all the pieces of God's armor that we need to put on every day. Stand up and sing it now. The armor of God fits good on me It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy 
Cause the armor I got fits good on me Put on the belt of truth My goodness boots Getting dressed and ready to go The shield of faith The sword I raise God's word is what I know With all my might I'll do what's right With the armor of godliness My helmet's on My salvation Now I can stand strong and pray Cause the armor of God fits good on me It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me of truth, my good news boots, getting dressed and ready to go, the shield of faith, the sword I raise, God's word is what I know, with all my might, I'll do what's right, with the armor of godliness, my helmet's on, my salvation, now I can stand strong and pray. The armor of God fits good on me It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me The armor of God fits good on me Good on me, good on me The armor of God fits good on me job singing that song. Now go ahead and take a seat. One of my favorite pieces of the armor of God is the sword of the spirit. The Bible is the sword of the spirit. Would you like to hear a story from the Bible? Yes! Great! Let's all get ready for the story by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click! click. Now let's put on our special eyes. Zoop, zoop. One day, Jesus said to his friends, let's get in the boat and sail to the other side. So they got in the boat and began to row on the water. Let's all pretend to row like Jesus' friends. Row, row, row. row. <laughs> Great job. Jesus had been teaching all day and he was tired. So he laid down in the boat and went to sleep. Friends, can you pretend to sleep like Jesus? Now wake up! All of a sudden, the wind began to blow really hard. Then the waves started splashing so high. Jesus' friends were so scared. They ran to where Jesus was sleeping and shouted for him to wake up. On the count of three, let me hear you shout, wake up! One, two, three. Wake up! That's it! They wanted Jesus to wake up because they were scared their boat was about to sink. Jesus woke up and said to the wind and the waves, be quiet, be still. Amazingly, the wind and the waves went away. The water was calm and quiet. Jesus asked his friends, Why are you so afraid? Don't you have any faith? As they sailed away, Jesus' friends were no longer scared because they knew that they could trust Jesus to take care of them, even when things seemed scary. Every time we put on God's armor, we have the power to be an everyday hero. When we hold up the shield of faith, we are trusting that God will always be with us and take care of us because that's what he promises to do. So let me hear you say this after me. Hold up. Hold up. The shield of faith. The shield of faith. You've got it. When you put on all of God's armor and pray, you'll be strong enough to stand up to any evil that comes your way. 
Gracias. Thanks, Firefighter Felicia. I'm so glad that we got to visit the fire station today and that you all got to meet Firefighter Felicia. She taught us that when we hold up the shield of faith, we are showing that we trust God is always with us and taking care of us. Oh, look, the city bus is here to take us back to the park. This time, let's play a game on the bus as we head back. Let's play I Spy with the Clouds. Listen carefully as I tell you what to look for. Okay, here we go. I spy with my little eye a cloud that looks like a bird. When you see it, stomp your feet. Great job! Let's find another one. I spy with my little eye a cloud that looks like a dog. When you see it, clap your hands. You found it! Let's find one more. I spy with my little eye a cloud that looks like a squirrel. When you see it, wave your hands up high in the air. You did it! That was so much fun! Wow! We made it back to the park in no time at all playing that fun game. Boys and girls, do you hear that? Yes! That sound means that someone needs our help. Would you all like to help? Yes! Great! Let's check in and see who it is. It looks like Carlos needs our help today. He is at school and they are having a fire drill. That's when the fire alarm goes off and you practice what you would do if there is a real fire. Boys and girls, does Carlos look excited or scared? Scared! You're right! Carlos is scared because the fire alarm is so loud and he's afraid that it will hurt his ears. But wait! Firefighter Felicia told us a story from the Bible about a time that Jesus' friends were really scared out on a boat because of the wind and the waves. Boys and girls, what did Jesus say to the wind and the waves? Be loud and bouncy or be quiet and still? Be quiet and still. You got it! Jesus said, be quiet, be still. And when the wind and the waves stopped, his friends were no longer scared. They knew that they could trust that Jesus would be with them and take care of them, even when things seemed scary. Do you think Carlos can trust that God will always be with him and take care of him too? Yes! Of course! And we can trust that God is always with us and taking care of us too, because that's what he promises to do. We need to remind Carlos that he can trust God too. Hmm, it looks like Carlos has most of God's armor on, but he is missing one important piece. Which piece of God's armor is Carlos missing? The shield of faith or the armor of godliness? The shield of faith. Yes, Carlos needs his shield of faith to remember that he can trust and have faith that God is with him and will take care of him. I think we need to remind Carlos to hold up the shield of faith. Say this after me. Hold up. Hold up. The shield of faith. The shield of faith. Look at that. Carlos held up his shield of faith, and now he's an everyday hero, just like firefighter Felicia. The shield of faith will help Carlos have faith and trust that God is with him and taking care of him, even when he feels scared. Gracias. Thank you so much for all of your help with Carlos today. God's armor helps us all to stand strong and not give up when things seem too hard to do. And there's a song we can sing to help us remember not to give up. Stand up and sing with me.
can all take a seat now. As you leave our city today, remember to hold up the shield of faith so that you can have faith and trust that God is with you and taking care of you no matter what. Let me hear you say this after me one more time. Hold up. Hold up. The shield of faith. The shield of faith. You got it. It's time for me to go, but I can't wait to see you again soon. Adios. Bye-bye.